Okay, another one for the linear form. Uh, a correction this time. Well, the last one was kind of a correction, but more of an advancement. Okay, when we come to these movements in the form, this set of movements, I don't know what they're called, but that set of postures before, before we drop down into the, the duck squatting posture. Okay, again, you've got to do the posture with power. It seems to be that a lot of people I see doing these movements, if you're doing a posture like this, bah, you'll, have, you'll have a nice twist, a nice body twist in there, and there's force, there's power, there's body power going into the movement. Um, and that goes the same for any of those postures where you're kind of going, there's, a, there's an obvious twist into the movement, these kind of, bah, these kind of movements. But with this, for some reason, every time I see people doing this, not, not everyone, but a lot of people, it's a common area of mistake, I'll see people go <laughs> like this, and it's, it's just in the arms. There's no body connected to those arms whatsoever. I think the reason is probably because it's quite a large movement when you first learn it. Bang, bang, bang. It's quite a large distance, and it is a kind of a tricky one to, to put your body into it. But you've got to, otherwise there's no power. You're just slapping someone in the face otherwise. So... Same kind of back palm as the very first movement when we when we bang like that. So you've got to have that same feeling in your hand. Um, so hook it back. You've got you blocked across. See that the body is connected to that whole movement. And down into that posture. And then same thing with the next one. Not uh uh uh, but and so on. So see again, I'm feeling this happening on the end of my hand. If you're not feeling this, then there's probably no power in the movement. So just go over your movement. And again, like we did before with the last correction, check you have power in it. Get a bag or a focus mitt or something. Go from here, you, you've blocked across, and go, okay, I'm going to hit the bag here. And if it's just that, that's just going to sting someone. That's just going to piss someone off. It's not going to do any damage at all. So you've got to... Go here and bah, connect your body to that movement. Like that. And then ricochet that down into this, this movement here. So we're going bang, like that. And then the same thing, you're going to come straight back at the back palm. Bah, there. Down strike again. Like that. So again, it's bah, see how those open that closed. One, two, like that. And then straight back up. Bah. Again, your whole body's firing through that movement. And into that. And then of course the final one, you slam down. You've got to make sure there's power in that left hand as well, and not, not just on the top. You've got to slam down with that hand. Bah, and come out. Before then carrying on. Oh, and that, that one as well, actually. Um, just bah, from there. Don't just go wah, bah, bah, from there and just see this. Just lift your hand up. Here. Bah, bah. See? You've got to have power in every move. Of course, you can do the Bagua linear form in a slow pace. You, you can do. You can do the whole form. And, and move through it more like a Tai Chi form. That, there's nothing wrong with doing that. But again, you're still going to have the, the correct body mechanics to it. So whether you're moving fast or slow, there's no difference. 
I'm still going to come from uh, here, and rather than just going like that, I'm going to go, see what my body's done there. I've, there's a body motion to that posture before coming in to the arm break. So whether you're doing it slowly or fast, you still got to make sure you have your whole body, you've got to feel that connection from here out to your arm and through here. And again, the good way to practice any of these movements is to take it out of the form and if they're strikes, put them on a bag. If they're defensive movements, get your partner, get a training partner somewhere to throw some punches at you and see how these movements are actually going to work because you'll find your form will have a completely different feel to it. When you're doing a movement, just lifting your hand in the air, or when you're, you're really putting your body in the absolute most perfect position to take that power and ricochet that block off to the side before doing whatever you might be doing next. Thank you very much.